Hi friends, it's Miss Davida. Thank you so much for tuning in. I apologize that this is late. I was in the process of making some videos and both of them got interrupted by FaceTime calls, uh, which I did not realize would completely stop my video. So third time's a charm. Um, we are going to draw some llama glamas today, which is the scientific name for a llama. Um, my third graders already know that because we did some llamas at school this year and my fourth graders did them last year. Um, they did an awesome job. And today we are using a lesson from artforkids.org, uh, which um, has a lot of amazing art lessons. So I want to give proper credit for that. And um, this is much easier than the lesson that I've been using at school, which is a little bit more complicated. This is um, better suited towards um, all age levels. You could do this as a painting, you could do this as a drawing. Um, first of all, you're gonna need some art supplies, whether you wanna use pencils, um, marker. I'm gonna draw with a marker. If you have a Sharpie around, that's a great thing to have. I encourage my students to draw with pencil first in case they do need to go back if they mess up, but don't worry about messing up. I do appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, I know things are interesting to say the least lately, so thank you parents, thank you students, thank you friends, um, love and appreciate you all. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. Um, we're gonna start with our llama's head and um, put your paper the horizontal way, which is also known as landscape. My students know that already. You can also put it this way. It's up to your you preference preferentially, um, but horizontally allows you to put the entire llama on there. A little easier so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started so we're gonna start with our llama's head <clears throat> excuse me and our llama's head is gonna be kind of an upside down letter U shape or like a gumdrop shape all right and we're gonna have a body our body is almost like a jelly bean shape you want don't want to make it too long but you also don't want to make it too short so we got the head we've got the body kind of like a jelly bean it almost looks like a bean or something or like a kidney bean shape all right, so we got our llama's head, we got our body. We're gonna work on some legs, and the legs, again, are kind of like a U-shape, not too short, but not too long either. And our back leg <clears throat> has a little bit more of a curve. So, and bear with me, friends, this is my very first art video that I've ever done, so a little bit nervous, but it's okay. Um, hooves. All right, we got some hooves. Now we gotta make Two more legs, because we all know that we need to have four legs for our llama. So, so far our llama has his four legs, he has his body, and he has his head. What is he missing? What's that? Oh, yes, a face. Okay, so we're gonna make some eyes. Ah. I like to do a little shine mark in the eye. It just makes it a little cuter. You can make if you want to, you know, tailor it up towards your personal llama, you can make um, eyelashes. If you want to put eyebrows, that's fine too, whatever. It's just a fun little lesson here. Um, Got to put a snout. Got our snout. Um, some nostrils. And a little mouth for our llama. He's a happy llama. I'm going to make a happy llama. He's super happy that you tuned in today. Um, what are we missing now? What's that? He can't hear you. Why can't he hear you? Because he doesn't have any what? Because he doesn't have any ears. That's right. So <clears throat> we're going to come up. We're going to make almost looks like a little piglet ear kind of. Um, llamas are somewhat like camels. They are pack animals. They are actually native to the, and I hope I'm correct in saying this, but we watched a video about llamas, but they are native to the Andes mountain region of Peru. Um, so we're going to do the inside of the ears now. So we got our llama's face, our llama's ears. Now, because they are pack animals, oh, a tail, that's right. Thank you for pointing that out. <clears throat> so we have our tail. So we're working on our llama right now. Um, llamas, um, since they are pack animals and people do ride on them, you can actually ride on a llama. Um, they use these blankets, it's almost like a saddle, and they're very intricate, they're, wo they're um, applique, which means they're sewn with different beautiful, colorful fabrics. And we're going to do make yet another U shape. And we're going to come in there. We're going to do a couple more. You can make more than three. I'm just doing three to start off with. And I'm going to do like a little design. You can make it as fancy or as simple as you want. I like to get a little fancy once in a while. All right, so I've got my saddle. We can do, I'm going to do bells on this particular one. 
My other one just has like little designs hanging off of it. So it's up to you. You could just do, <clears throat> there's a lot of different things you could do. Um, you could do more like this. I just did this on the other one, these little yarn thingies hanging down. Um, so, so far we have a saddle. What else? Oh, reins. Yes, we gotta have some reins. So I kept it simple on this one. I just did a little crisscross, but maybe on this one I wanna do it a little different. Like a little U going across. And go across again. Some little lines. Not too hard. And then I'm gonna put some little things hanging off of that also. Here we go. So we've got that. Now, we are actually finished with the llama itself. If you want to stop here, that's fine. Um, I put my own little twist on it that is different from the site. I always like to do background. Um, so our llama is in the foreground. And like I said, they live in the Andes Mountain region and we all need a little sunshine in our life right now. So what I did is I put a sunshine and stuff in the background. If you want, you can add your own like mountains. Your llama could be at the beach if you wanted them to be at the beach. If you want to do mountains, um, what I like to do is I just do kind of like up and down, kind of roller coaster line is what we call it. Um, you could do a little overlap and like if you come in and you take your marker or your pencil and you overlap some of those mountains. Um, the Andes Mountains are very high, so it does snow up there. If you want to make it look like there's snow on there, you could come up and do some snow caps on your mountains. <clears throat> you could do a sunshine. It could be at nighttime. Oh, you know what? I did a sunshine on this one, so maybe this will be my sunshine llama. And then maybe I wanna come in and have this one be my nighttime llama friend. Um, if I wanna make it look like there's grass in there, I could do some grass. And again, feel free to um, slow down the video at any time. And I could get real fancy with the moon. So this is your drawing. So you could make it however you want. Um, very fun, very short lesson. Again, if you want, uh, there is a handout or a sheet on artprojectsforkids.org. Um, you can go there and there are also some other animals and some other drawing lessons on there you can check out. Um, and tomorrow we will have a different lesson. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and tune in. And I would love to have some feedback from you, especially if you're one of my students, if you want to post to my Schoology site and share what you've done with your llamas, if you've tuned in, or if you're one of my friends and you want to post in the comment section below, please do. I would love to see what your kids and what your grandkids have done or what even what you've done. And thank you for tuning in. Um, again, thank you so much for watching my very first art video and, um, students, I love and miss ya and, um, hope to be seeing everybody again soon.